Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, install Dindulot on Skyrim SE today. Um, there's a lot of misinformation or incomplete information, and I just really wanted to like get everything all in one place. Maybe for myself, maybe for others that can benefit from it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to make sure that you have all your environment mods um, all in one place. I have everything extracted manually and kind of have like an archive. Uh, so I was able to just pull everything over. You don't have to do it this way, but you need to just make sure that the only activated mods are environment mods, such as like mountains, water, trees, grass, even ELFX. It affects the uh, lights in the landscape, right? Uh, new lands, uh, towns, whatever have you. Mods like Campfire, Frostfall, all that stuff, they don't need to be activated. They don't affect the landscape. So we just need landscape mods. So then we'll go here and you'll see uh, basically... As I said, only landscape mods are activated. You can keep your load order, whatever have you, is the same, but just make sure that you deactivated non-landscape mods. Um, mods like Perfect White Run uh, that add trees in an inner city space, that is a space that you have to enter a door to get into, right? Um, make sure they're deactivated. Those aren't going to work when you're generating those textures. It will seem like it works, but when you actually go in the town, they'll be all funky and you'll have an LOD tree texture overlaying an actual tree texture in the town. Um, everything else, like uh, cutting room floor even, uh, there's a landscape texture with cutting room floor. I just made sure it's all deactivated, not needed. New lands, like Vigilant Darkened, made sure they're activated. All right, so now that you have everything uh, activated that only deals with environment mods, now we can proceed forward and get the uh, resources that we're going to need. So first thing you're going to need is the Papyrus Util SE mod. You're also going to need this Skyrim Special Edition script extender as well as the uh, uh, Dindulad um, standalone and resources for Skyrim SE. All these links will be provided below in the video. And then you're going to need indistinguishable billboards for Skyrim SE. And you're going to build out your own uh, billboards from that mod. Um, so then you go into your downloads. As you can see, I have the resources standalone, whatever have you. Um, I already did this, so I just did this to show you what it's going to look like. Um, and then there will be a fourth file for the billboards, like I said, and you'll be making your own. And then uh, I archive them personally um, uh, in the Dindulad folder, and I put everything there. So those are the core files, the generated files and textures that you're going to be creating for yourself today. And then the three files below that are the files that you are going to be needing and that I pulled off onto my desktop there, the resources and uh, whatever have you. Um, so uh, yeah, and then the uh, last mod you'll need is you'll need a, um, uh, the uh, Skyrim SE plugin uh, that allows you to like have menus and stuff. Uh, you don't absolutely have to have it. It's not a hard requirement, but it allows you to customize it and do loading in game. So anyways, uh, we're going to create the Dindulad uh, file via dropping Dindulad into a file folder location that you want. Make sure it's someplace you're going to keep it forever. Um, and then you extract everything, and then you're going to create a shortcut of the 64-bit application. So that's a text gen and the Dindulad 64-bit. Uh, and then after you create the uh, shortcuts, you're going to be editing the uh, properties of it, and then add a space dash SSE, Skyrim Special Edition. You have to do that for both uh, the shortcuts now, for the text gen 64 and the din do loud 64. If you don't do that, they will not work. So add the space dash SSE. All right, so then moving forward, we made sure that only uh, environmental mods are installed. We go back because now everything's installed, right? So we're just going to verify our plugins, make sure that the only ESPs that we have in there are ESPs that pertain to landscape. And yes, they do. You can keep your load order, like I said, just make sure everything else is deactivated. All right. So now that we have that installed, now we're going to move forward and create our own billboards for trees. Um, this mod uh, page, which I again linked below, has this great tutorial right here in text. It's phenomenal. Uh, hit the spoiler, follow that, do whatever you want. Um, that's a hybrid. There's also a quick video of it above it. Um, it's actually a 30-minute video. It's not quick. My bad. 
but uh, yeah, I personally like following the text. It's a hybrid of simply bigger trees, real aspen trees, um, scar and floral overhaul trees, and these billboards. It's phenomenal. It looks great in your game. Um, you can do whatever setup you want with it. Uh, but that's a great uh, outline to follow. And then I personally, of this mod, I used the Lush Dark. Um, that helped with uh, LOD pop-in, like shadow pop-in. For me personally, a lot of the tutorials say like bright or whatever, but you can use whatever you want. So I used Indistinguishable Lush Dark. And then you use those four files that I mentioned, Simply Bigger Trees, Real Aspen Trees, blah, 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 all that stuff. And you create your own singular .esp. I uh, archived it, as you can see right here, tree LOD and retexture, overwrite all. So you can overwrite everything when you install this. Everything has to be uh, overwritten because it has everything in it. It's going to have like, the simple big trees, etc. And then make sure you get your other LODs that you need, like Majestic Mountains. I got those uh, LODs. Um, and then uh, you're going to need to make sure that you install next the uh, resources for Dindulad and Papyrus Util. Now, when you install the Dindulad resources, make sure that you don't overwrite anything. It's gonna fill in all the gaps with what you don't have, and then you can just use the things that you do have, such as um, your Simply Bigger Trees that you created, those files, uh, the uh, Majestic Mountains LOD that I downloaded. I only have really two LODs that I needed to download, but I wanted to use those, not that, right? And then we can go, and now we can start Din Dulot up. So we're going to do the text gen 64 first. And when I open up text gen 64, what it's going to do is it's going to detect to see if I have the text generated um, files in there. Oops, selected the wrong one. Don't worry about that. Um, so when it detects that you already have text gen generated files uh, installed into Skyrim, it's going to pop up an error. Don't worry about it because I already did this, that that happened. So anyways, um, now that you're in here, keep everything the same. You don't have to worry about anything. Just change the texture size to size you like. I personally think 512 is fine. I have a uh, 1080 for the win EVGA graphics card, and 512 just runs fine on my setup. Uh, then you're going to hit start and run it, and then that's going to put into the text gen output folder uh, your textures. Pack them up into an RAR, install using NNM, and then overwrite everything. It's because it's going to have everything in there collectively. The LODs from the resources, the LODs that you created, uh, etc. So now we have the resources installed, now we have the textures from the text gen installed, and we have the Papyrus Util installed. Uh, SKSE should be installed, and now we just need to generate the Dindulad. Uh, so we hit the shortcut, we're going to, once it's loaded, go OK. And then we're going to hit the advanced tab when we get there. There we go, advanced. And now all we have to do is keep everything the same again. Um, and then I changed it to 512 again. Uh, and then you go through all the ESPs it's detected and make sure the ESPs in there are only related to Skyrim, Dark and New Lands, Guard, like those are all good, nothing like odd that shouldn't be in there. Select all, you hit high, and then you hit OK, and it's going to generate all your files. It's going to generate your .esps and all of the billboards, because text generator, what that did is that generated your LODs. These, uh, if, as far as I understand it correctly, generated your billboards, which apparently are different. And then you pack it up into an RAR, install it using NNM, as you saw there, and you have everything together. And that's actually it. Um, at this point, you'll have everything installed. Um, you can choose to archive the files that you've now created, uh, like I did. I archived the Dindula generated uh, files for the game and the Dindula generated textures. Um, and then I kept the resource files that I used and the billboards files that I created in the loose files that I use in the tree billboards and LOD. Um, but you don't have to do that. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped out.